The city has spoken once again. By the city, I mean the residents. I mean the organized residents who have packed this chamber once again. We have been here twice before, once in October 2014, and then a few months later in April 2015, to share story after story of displacement. I've been out of work since September. Yeah. I can't afford 300 more dollars. Yeah. Yes. And they won't now negotiate with us. Just cause for Boston. Just cause for Boston. Just cause for Boston. Just cause for Boston. This proposal would require large property owners and banks to provide a good reason, just cause, to evict someone. That's it. Just provide a good reason to evict someone. Owners could still use eviction to, en to enforce a rent increase, but they would have to provide the city with a notice to do that. So when they send out their notice to quit to their, to their tenants, they would also send that notice to the city. That's it. They have, there, there is no other provision that the landlord has to do. And we're, we're proposing that the city then, through the Office of Housing Stability, inform the tenant of their rights, of their legal existing rights under state law. This proposal halts building clearouts by large property owners. This means that speculators, speculators will no longer be able to buy up property at and order everyone out. They will get 30 day notices sometimes to empty out a building. A, a, a new owner will come along and give, especially tenants that have only a tenant at will, a 30-day notice to leave the building. That, too, is something that uh, a landlord has to go to court to do. They can negotiate that. And I think they just get these notices, counselor, and they feel like they have to leave immediately. This proposal also halts bank evictions of former homeowners after foreclosure. Where will we go? Who will hear us? This nation has seen an increase in family homelessness with the most drastic increases in cities with high housing costs namely New York City, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., and right here in the hub, Boston. These evictions are not just no fault in character, but are in fact predatory evictions being carried out as a part of an overall strategy of real estate speculation. These predatory evictions are causing huge amounts of displacement and have a disproportionate impact on people of color, low-income residents, families with children, and in particular, people with disabilities. We were here today to sit in that doorway right there and to stop this eviction. Yes. A half an hour ago, they backed down. My, my brain was just all over the place. I just couldn't focus on any one thing. Just way too nervous about being evicted from my apartment. This, Felicia would be able to stay without having to worry, without the stress level, yeah. if we had just cause eviction. That's right. That's right. If we had just cause eviction. The city council this week will have new a new draft proposal. Then it is it is up to them to file this and to pass this as a, as an ordinance. Stop the evictions. Stop the evictions. No fault evictions. No fault evictions. Stop the evictions. Stop the evictions. The rental increases. Rental increases. Stop the rental increases. The rental increases. Stop the no fault evictions. No fault evictions. No fault evictions. No fault evictions. No fault evictions.